From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. And your CR for stimulus 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0. Plus your SS200, that extra $200 that will go on top of your benefits every month. Oh boy. Plus the repurposing of existing funds to send you out stimulus checks. I got a lot in today's recording. We're going to go over the breaking news about the Build Back Better Act passed in the House and now in the Senate. But guess what's also now passed in the House and Senate in the Senate? It's CR for Stimulus 2.0. And now Senate Republicans are excited to merge it with their version 3.0. Meantime, what's going on with Vladimir Putin and the Russian invasion potential of Ukraine? That's CR for Stimulus 4.0. And more Russian troops are now at the border today than even before. I have the latest breaking news about that as well. Then we'll be looking at an SS200 opportunity to get that big money out the door. Lifetime, raising your benefits across the board, plus repurposing of money. Then, stay to the very end, because I got a lot of money for you. Viewers have wiped out, whipped up $10,000, $30,000 from third stimulus in just this week. Oh, boy. Imagine going into a new week with an extra ten dollars to $20,000. Stay with me to the very end. I have all that incredible money for you across the board. We have a lot of money in today's recording and a lot of pieces of legislation. Everything's here except, you know, uh, the, the lobster shorts are missing. Thank goodness they're missing. Mitch, you can wear what you want. We're just not wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I'll go over why there's a new spirit of bipartisanship among Republicans and Democrats that will signal that you're likely to get checks sooner than later. And even from potential Republicans, boy, it's all brand new. It's all mornings because the toast is toasted, the butter is buttering, and the Mitch is Mitching. This is Mornings LA. And here we go. Good morning, everybody. And the Mitch is Mitching and the butter is buttering. <laughs> the House has passed the Build Back Better Act, but is also now passed CR for Stimulus 2.0. They'll merge with 3.0. Wow, this is getting exciting. Republicans and Democrats working hand in hand. Uh, I, I just can't believe I'm saying that. Plus, the incredible programs of the Build Back Better Act. I'll be going over those. CR for Stimulus 1, 2, and 3.0. O plus 4.0, all are breaking news in face of the major changes of what's happening at the Ukrainian border with Russia minutes ago. It's all breaking news and it's all happening right now. Then save the final minutes of this video because I'm going to show you how to get tens of thousands of dollars, a lot of it. It is third stimulus. You want ten, twenty thousand dollars extra to go into the weekend? I bet you do. But first, go into this video and do me a favor and subscribe. Bring this channel, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, Ally Light, to number two by subscribing. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. The butter is buttering, and the toast is toasting, and we're ready to rock and roll right into a delicious morning by starting with. If the beautiful Build Back Better Act passed in the House, Senate, and the Senate. Those provisions in there are three clusters with three add ons. It's important to know what are in there because you have to pounce first come, first serve. There's about Fifteen to sixty thousand dollars of checks across those incredible three clusters and three add-ons. Let's go over each of them right now. Hazard pay in that first cluster got in there. That earned income tax credit for one more year. Four thousand dollars of elder care. Four thousand dollars of care for young children. They got the CTC. One more year of that in there from third stimulus. To learn about those repeating 
provisions from third semester, go to irs.gov. They got another Pell Grant, $550 check for college students, the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, and then the home repairs. If you live in a low-income community, wow, they got those checks in there as well. That is the first of three clusters of checks, but you know how we rock and roll on this channel. There is also three add-on checks. The first add-on of checks is perhaps one of the most exciting provisions for viewers of this channel. It is about $25,000 or less for the purchase of your first home. Maxine Waters here from Southern California got that provision in there where money is given to the seller in your name by the federal government at the time of escrow. Wow. This is big money to buy your first home. And again, that is the first of three add-ons of checks. Now let's jump into the second cluster of checks. Wow. We got a lot of money and we are just getting started here in this recording. In that second cluster of checks we have in there home repairs and paid leave the home repairs is to weatherize your home and the paid leave is due to sickness or illness you have to stay home for work let's go over the paid leave because it's a lot of money how much money is it it is $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year, $800 or a week if you make $35,000 or more per year. If you make $15,000 or more per year, it's $400 a week. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. And this is W-2-1099. You all get it. Now, it's for the household. So if you don't work, but your son or daughter does work and they are part of the household, they're going to get the check if they have to take you to the doctor's office once a week. Yeah, it's incredible. Four to $6,000 a year. And there you go. That is the second cluster. Now, the second add-on, I bet you know the number for that second add-on. It's the one that comes from Bob Casey. You remember the amount? I think you do right in the live chat right now. There it is. I see it. Uh, someone just wrote it. It is two, just a little bit less than $250 billion for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Wow, that is huge. They got it in there. Just a little bit less than $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Let's now turn to the third cluster. Deliciousness. <laughs> in that third cluster, we got in there money for free internet, money for the farmers, the money for the independent contractors. Then free school meals for all checks and for the seniors two provisions on the house three coming on the senate side on the house side they got in there the lowering the eligibility age they got the medicaid gap fix and also the hearing aid checks but the senators vowed to add three other rounds of checks and what are they First, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, then dental, and finally, vision, which is par for the course of when we're talking about adding provisions to this recon on the set side. Those tee us up for the third add-on that those senators represent they want to add in there. What are those three letters? If you're on the live chat right now, write those three letters. I bet you know what they are. There they are. I saw someone write it. It's MSC. It stands for monthly delicious sugary chocolate cake <laughs> no uh monthly sugar-free chocolate cake no not that either <laughs> it stands for monthly stimulus check irs let's go over what it is first this is a program that would be added to the recon of the build back better act on the senate side where the irs would send you out a monthly stimulus check monthly irs stimulus check so who gets it the legislators represent that whoever got a third would get a fourth. A single individual, seventy-five thousand or less annual income, you would get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand or less annual income, you get it, but it'd be double. Family of four, you get it as well. It would be quadruple. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits, you would also get it as well. Adult dependents would also get the check. Meantime, the check is not income. It ain't taxable. It comes nationwide. It's not state by state. And it would go off the most recent tax return. So if that tax return has a direct deposit account on it, that's how you get paid. Then that brings us to the question of how much. Legislators represent it would be $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. That is true deliciousness. And that is MSC. Which then leads to the final question is, how does it get in there? How does that MSC get in there across the board? Let's go over the nuances of that right now, which is important to look at the equation. The equation starts at understanding the recon, the Build Back Better Act, and how legislation is added in there. And what's important to understand is it would start in those Senate subcommittees.
The legislation would send it to the Senate subcommittee, and that's where the addition would happen. The Build Back Better Act certainly covered so far in this video is what we're talking about. The legislation passed in the House, sent to the Senate. The senators would take those thousands of pages of legislation, send to the subcommittee, then make those modifications. That then has not happened yet. Once they make the modifications, add in those checks, then they have a Senate bill on the floor. They vote on it. Then they have a two-day voter on it. Done. But that event has not happened. And that's why, two weeks ago on this channel, I brought back an old favorite, CR4 stimulus, to try to use another piece of legislation to get you checks in addition to the Build Back Better Act out to you sooner, faster, while we wait for C, while we wait for the Build Back Better Act to happen. And the great news is that in those two weeks that that recording has been made, the legislators have now done their versions, a C offer stimulus 2.0, 3.0, and potentially 4.0. And I have breaking news about all of them starting right now. But first, let's go over what a C offer stimulus looks like. It was created by me back in 2020 on this channel. At the start of the pandemic, we had a first stimulus package. It was spring of 2020. The money ran out. Millions of Americans needed more money. So we were told that a second stimulus package was in the works. And then negotiations started. They began in the spring between Nancy Pelosi on behalf of the Democrats, Speaker of the House, and Steve Mnuchin out of New York on behalf of the Democrats. He was then Treasury Secretary. No deal in the spring. Negotiations continued. No deal in the summer. No deal in the fall. No deal in the winter. And by December, I said, you know what? We need to find something else. So what did I need? I needed at that point in my mind to find something that was a small bill, not a package like this that had thousands of pages of length, just a few hundred pages, something to go by bipartisan support, something easy breezy, and something that had an inherent deadline to it. I looked high and low and I found it a continuing resolution. What is a continuing resolution, or CR? It is a bill that's done every six to 12 months approximately to fund the federal government, the national parks, the federal buildings. It has a lot of different names for it, but generally called a continuing resolution. I liked it because it fit everything we need. And with that, I prepared my first recording to advocate for it on this channel, the creation recording, to show what I had created and also be prepared for the criticism. And then I made the first recording in December, 2020. I said, hey, everybody, it's L.A., how are you? And you and I have been watching this second stimulus package negotiations for 11 months between Nancy and Steve Mnuchin. I'm not happy with it, so we need to find something else to supplement it to get it out quicker. I need something quicker, faster, breezier, something that has bipartisan support, that something that has an inherent deadline. I think I found it. It's called a continuing resolution. It has a deadline just a few days from now, a few weeks from now, called December late 2020. The concept is very simple. It has inherent deadline, and they're not going to roll it over indefinitely because they may roll it over a few days, a week, maybe a month, but not several months. Neither Republicans or Democrats ever let that lapse. That means the federal government would default. No one does that. So if it passes in December, that means we get a check. Do you like the idea? Viewers love the idea. I said push for it, CR for stimulus, and they viewers did. But as soon as they pushed for it, we heard the criticism coming on in. <laughs> and I was ready for the criticism. It was exactly what I anticipated. LA Light, you're crazy. That doesn't belong in there. Don't you know what a continuing resolution is? Is to fund the federal government. It's checks for the federal government, for the national parks, not funds for the American people. Doesn't belong in there. <laughs> I was ready for my response. You're exactly right. Doesn't belong in there. That doesn't mean we can't put it in there. Since the beginning of time, Congress has passed legislation where they insert money in there into a bill that doesn't belong in there. They did it notoriously during the pandemic, Republicans and Democrats. A COVID relief bill to fund a foreign military government. A COVID relief bill to build a brand new FBI building. A COVID relief bill to expand the Department of Copyrights. <laughs> if you could do all that, you could send us out a check. So we pushed. And one morning we woke up and we were told stimulus is in the continuing resolution. My goodness. And we thought we had it until we looked carefully and realized, oh, they put unemployment stimulus in there. <laughs> Good try. That's not what we're asking for. We're asking for stimulus check. So he pushed back again, and finally it got in there. $600 stimulus check was added into the December 2020 continuing resolution and became a law. The creation from me, the advocacy from you, 
and we made history. $600 stimulus check came to Americans because of this channel's idea to put it in to the CR. You got it in December or the following month of January. Ironically, right after that, what happened with second stimulus? Blew up, never happened. Second stimulus package never passed, never had a vote, never had a check, no one got paid for it. Thank goodness for CR for stimulus, 2020. So two weeks ago, I brought back on the channel, I said, same situation, you wanna do again? Viewers said, absolutely, LA. It's been 11 months of negotiation again, it's Joe and Joe this time. No inherent deadline, we need something else, and we have it. A continuing resolution budget bill that's due in late February, 2022. Let's put it in there. So we advocated for CR for stimulus once again. Have that hashtag campaign ready, right in the live chat. Remember, don't put the 2022 at the end, just CR for stimulus. Within two weeks of that recording, almost a week after that recording, House Democrats heard us. And immediately House Democrats, led by Pete Aguilar, said, you know what? We support Build Back Better Act. We like it. It will get done. But we need other pieces, plural, of legislation, economic legislation, to send out money. Because guess what? We need to solve these situations right now, and we need to get them done right away. And we may have the first one ready to rock and roll and pass in the House within 24 hours. Well, 24 hours later, it was passed. A week ago today, I delivered the breaking news that it was passed. A week ago today, CR for Stimulus 2.0 passed the House of Representatives. Off to the Senate it went. And guess what? The reception in the Senate was overwhelming among Republicans. Yes, how is this the case? All the latest update about CR for Stimulus 1.0, ours, 2.0, passed in the House, sent to the Senate 3.0, the Senate version, and 4.0, which is brand new because it involves using the Ukrainian-Russian sanctions bill. At the time of this recording, breaking news minutes ago is now the biggest proliferation of Russian troops at a peaceful border is now being seen right this minute for the biggest we've ever seen since the Cold War. I've been covering the Russian tensions on this channel for several months. I've been telling you it's no bueno. It's much more no bueno right now than ever seen before. That's why for CR for Stimulus 4.0 may be back in the mix big time. Then in the second half of this recording, we're gonna go over the opportunity of the president to repurpose money to send it out to you as checks. We'll be looking at the opportunity of SS200 and why debuted nearly two years ago. It has not been delivered a single penny, but why now in this channel's recordings, I found a way for Liz Warren's promise and Joe Biden's promise of SS200 to go out right today with more money than you've ever seen before. This is additional $200 on top of your existing benefits, not just six to 12 months, but lifetime, boy. We got that huge news coming up in the second half of this video. Plus, I'll show you how viewers have gotten ten dollars to $20,000 this week from just third stimulus. I got a lot of checks later in this video. Plus, we'll be looking back at fourth stimulus. And the big checks in there stay to the very end. There's a lot of moolah in the second half. I'm excited for you. As Mornings LA continues direct and live from Santa Monica, California. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Mornings LA continues live. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And 
then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on this on the second half of Morning's L8. As the coffee's coffin, <laughs> as Am just said, the coffee is coffin and the Mitch is Mitching. In the second half of this video, we're gonna go over the incredible money that is now at play with the CR for stimulus 2.0 passed in the House, sent to the Senate. And the Senate Republicans saying they want to merge it with the House Democrats 2.0. What's going on? I've all the incredible great news and why there's a spirit of compromise among both parties. It's seats for stimulus like you've never seen it before. It's breaking news right now at mornings coming up in the second half. We'll be looking at how you can get thousands of dollars this week and how viewers have gotten ten to twenty thousand dollars. We'll be looking at the repurposing of money that Joe Biden can do and the SS two hundred that would raise your benefits up across the board. This is what was talked about for nearly two years, but guess what? It's getting really exciting right now. You found us. You found us. You're watching, and the butter is buttering. This is Ally. And I need you to do something right now. Go under this video right now and subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America, but I want you to bring us to number two. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, so you get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system and the LA Late alert system, which is also really free. Thank you for all the new members, subscribers, and LA Late alert members in the last 24 hours. The link is under the video's description. And with that, let's go into what's the update on CR for stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. I'm going to start first with, of course, 4.0, which is really exactly one of those I told you so moments. How many weeks has this been that I first started talking about Russia? I talked about it on the crypto and the Bitcoin sh the recordings and the Metaverse channel. I covered on this and I said, you know what? Get ready for the potential of Russia's invasion of Ukraine because financial markets will go into a tizzy. Russia and Ukraine is, is a petroleum uh, battleground. They want the oil. And if that heats up, the price of gas at the pump is going to go through the roof. Well, right now, in the last few minutes, the situation is very, very tense. The number of Russian troops... Uh, and military at the Ukrainian border is the worst we've ever seen since the Cold War of Russia putting troops at a peaceful border. Never seen anything like this. 100,000 Russian troops, yeah, but they now have tankers in the waters. They now have U.S. troops moved from military bases here, then to Germany, now to Romania, right very, very close. It's getting very, very tense. Very, very tense. This teases up for Sea Offer Symbols 4.0. Sea Offer Symbols 4.0 is the Russian sanctions bill that starts in the Senate and would end in the Senate that proposes to sanction Russia for what it's doing. Bob Menendez, Marco Rubio, Democrat, Republican, bipartisan bill, they want it done. First, it's bipartisan, fix our motif of what we want. Second, it has an inherent deadline. You sanction Russia before it does something, not after it does something. And number three, it's small. So what's that issue here? It was not in Chuck Schumer's shortlist of legislation to do before the Senate recess before Memorial Day weekend. Guess what? Bob Menendez, very, very close friend of, of, of Chuck Schumer, said, I'm really shocked it's on your shortlist. What's going on? Well, I think in view of what's happening right now, today, I think it's going to go on that short list. You cannot miss this opportunity to sanction Russia. This is where you do it. So this may be very front burner more than even it was 24 hours ago. So we're trying to advocate for the inclusion of a stimulus check in this piece of legislation because of small, bipartisan, quick, inherent deadline. Now let's go back to CR for stimulus 2.0. Representative Pete Aguilar said that we need pieces, plural, of legislation that would alleviate supply chain issues and tamper down inflationary pressures. And he wants those passed, supporting the Build Back Better Act, but wanting these to go out quicker because it's economics, it's your wallet. Now, remember, Build Back Better Act deals with teeth, your vision, your hearing, that social reform, but also deals with your wallet. He wants to deal just with your wallet. And that first piece of legislation passed last Friday, a week ago today, about a week after I first mentioned the importance of CR for Stimulus 1.0. Well, guess what? The reaction was incredibly positive. 
We have Todd Young, who's a Republican senator, says, I'm very happy with what the Democrats did in the House. I'm ready to merge the two together in the Senate. His quote was that my hope, my hope is the process will continue to move forward. The Democrats pass their bill in the House. We will go to conference in the Senate, come up with a piece of legislation that is reflective of what the senators want to do, and we'll work together to improve it and get it all done. Wow. Incredible. Why such an element of compromise? I'll explain that in just a second. That's CR for stimulus 3.0, Senate version 2.0, House version, and we just did the Russian one, 4.0. So what about our original version, 1.0? The 1.0 version is using the continuing resolution. That idea is still at issue. The Canadian resolution, of course, is on Chuck Schumer's shortlist. Thank goodness. I mean, it has to be to get it done this month. Now, there's one part of this equation. Do they get the continuing resolution done this month or do they move it to March? You don't want them to move it to March. You want them to do it this month. And that's why you want to advocate to two people, Patrick Leahy, Democrat, Vermont, and Chuck Schumer, Democrat, New York. A new quote from Senator John Tester, Democrat, Montana, said that we got four guys, senators, Republicans and Democrats, and they are Chuck, Patrick Leahy, Mitch, and another Republican. If they agree upon the price tag of this whole continued resolution, we're done. We're finished. We'll, we're done this month. And all I have to do is write it up. It'll take a few days to write up, and we're done. Very, very simple. If we can get those guys to agree upon the price tag, we're done. So what you need to do is advocate to Leahy and Chuck saying, one, get it done this month, the continued resolution. Two, I've had your back on Build Back Better Act for 11 months, hasn't passed. You know you promised to give us a check, multiple checks in there. We've had your back. We've been patient. We haven't seen it pass. Put a check into this one. Number three, you can put a check into this one. You did it before in the continuing resolution in December 2020. Do it again. You did it in December 2020 to win those Georgia Senate seats. Do it again right now. And Mitch will do it as well. Which then tees up the question of, what is this bipartisanship and why is it working so well suddenly? Let me explain what's going on. This is very fascinating. You've noticed it, I've noticed it, and print media has noticed it as well. In the last seven days, we have suddenly seen Republicans and Democrats work hand in hand in a way we haven't seen during this entire administration. Why? It's a new version of Seats for Stimulus. The concept is very simple. People need economic reform passed right now. Democrats and Republicans both agree upon that. They also both agree that the way the voter is today in this society, they will, they will not buy into a candidate saying, I promise to do something. They're going to say, did you do it? Did you call? Did you write the bill? Did you call for vote? Did it pass? I want to see when it passed. Otherwise, they're not going to buy into it. So Republicans and Democrats are suddenly scampering to pass legislation quickly and take credit for it. Who cares? Just pass it and send us house money. Sound familiar? It should. Do you remember when CR for Stimulus 2020 came to fruition? December 2020. What was happening that month? The presidential election was over. The Senate races were all almost over. But two races were still at issue. The Senate Georgia races were still at issue. And the reason, in my opinion, I think you'd agree as well, that CR for Stimulus 2020 happened is because Republican and Democratic senators both wanted to win those Georgia Senate seats. And the way you win seats is you send people money. It's very simple. You pass money and you send people money to win seats. And because two Georgia Senate seats were up the following month, and actually two months thereafter, February and late January, early February, they wanted to send money out in December right before that. And that's why it happened. Well, guess what's happening right now? We have the midterm elections right around the corner. And suddenly, Republicans and Democrats are all trying to scamper to send out relief to you. And sitting back and blaming the other party of the economic situation ain't going to work for the voters' mind. They want to see, where's my money? Where are you solving the situation? And that's why it works in our benefit. And now let's turn into the opportunities that Joseph Biden has. And they are repurposing existing sums of money and also SS200. My goodness, this is incredible, great news. We're going to start with the concept of repurposing existing money to send you out checks across the board. This is not a new concept. We saw it in 2020 during the Trump administration. The concept is very simple. The president of the United States does not pass legislation. 
Congress passes legislation. And when Congress passes legislation to establish new federal agencies, those federal agencies or federal, federal departments, I should say, or federal programs, they may run one, two years. They're funded. But what happens when they're over? What happens when the one or two years is over? What happens with the money? Well, if the money is not all used up, it sits in that federal program and sits there until some guy or gal moves it. And the guy or gal is often the President of the United States. And this is the concept of repurposing money, taking money from programs that have now expired and send it out to you. We saw this first under the Trump administration. During the Trump administration, people needed FPUC. It was that add-on that went on top of UI and PUA of $600 a week. But it had ended. Donald Trump didn't want to go back to Congress because Congress is a mess, rightfully so. So he thought of the idea of repurposing existing sums of money to send it out as unemployment benefits to you. He found it. FEMA. FEMA? That's, that's hurricane and tornado land. Yeah. He picked up the phone and said, I want you to repurpose that money, send it out as unemployment benefits. We're going to call it as LWA, a boost. And it became the situation, became a reality. Did not need an act of Congress, did not need executive order, just a phone call. Joe Biden can do that right now. So the way he does it, he takes existing funds and repurposes and sends it out across the board. What do I need your help on this one for? I need you to find out those funds. They're for any program that is now ex has now expired and there's extra sums of money sitting around it. Send me a private message. I'm gonna go through them this weekend and I've seen one or two already come on in. The president can repurpose that money and send it out to you. Very simple. Donald Trump had a second opportunity, but he passed this one up, and it was a very big game changer. $550 billion sitting at an SBA in 2020. He should have taken the money, repurposed it as two stimulus checks out to the American people. He would have won the election because Americans would have gotten two stimulus checks right before they vote in the polls. He didn't. And I think it cost him the election. The money eventually was re-diverted back into Treasury because no one used it. There you go. So you need to find a new pot of money. Meantime, the president has a second opportunity. And this is SS200. SS200 and your Social Security reform. Wow. This is huge. The president of the United States, through the guidance I'm about to give you right now, can do something that would give you an additional $200 a month. Not just six to 12 months as Liz Warren promised on her campaign trail. Not six to 12 months like Joe Biden promised on his campaign trail, but lifetime. My goodness. Let's go over the nuances of what's at issue. It starts back in January 2020. Presidential campaign was underway. And for the Democrats, Liz Warren announced her platforms for running for president. She announced in January 2020, she wanted to reform the Social Security Administration, removing the asset cap. That needs an act of Congress still, recon. Remove the income cap, act of Congress. Removing the marriage penalty, act of Congress. But she also wanted to raise your benefits up by using a new benchmark and giving you an extra $200 a month, six to 12 months, at what I call on this channel, SS200. I coined the expression on this channel, SS200. Well, she campaigned for this, had articles. Chuck Schumer herself and Ron Wyden even introduced a Senate proposal. It wasn't a bill, but a proposal to the Senate floor. And then she withdrew for running for president. And Joe Biden said, I like Liz Warren's policies. I'm going to adopt them as my own for running for president. So he had SS200 in his campaign agenda and promises written and verbalized. He won the election. Then in his transition papers at JoeBiden.com, still posted, the then president-elect wrote that it's an urgent situation to send out an extra $200 a month to people on benefits because your benefits have been devalued for many, many years. What happened? Day one, he comes in, he doesn't do it. Day two, month two, he doesn't do it. And the fellow Democrats say, you know what, Joe? You haven't taken care of it. So we want to take care of it. And we want to do it with a fifth stimulus recon. Their proposal is a duel with a civil stimulus recon, and we covered all throughout 2021, but that doesn't happen either. So this last week, I brought it back in the mix, and I show viewers of this channel how Joe Biden can do it right today. Mr. President, if you're listening, do it right today. This is how you do it. Doesn't need an act of Congress. Doesn't need a recon. Doesn't need a bill. Doesn't need an executive order. Just needs a phone call. How does this work? The concept is very simple. There are several federal agencies out there that are determined how to operate based upon their own determination. 
They're like FEMA, SBA, and Social Security. They don't need Congress to tell them how to tie their shoelaces or how to pour their coffee. They determine it themselves. Remember a year ago this month, people were having problems getting a third stimulus check on benefits? The commissioner at the time of Social Security was called Commissioner Saul. Remember that guy? Joe Biden didn't like him. He was a Donald Trump appointee. Joe Biden came in and fired him, put his own person in. What happened a few months later thereafter? Joe Biden reached out to the Department of Agriculture saying, you know what? I don't determine how you do things, but I would encourage you to pay more for SNAP. You're not paying enough. And that became a reality. They listened and they are now paying you 25% more lifetime starting last October. So what does Joe Biden need to do here? How does it work? First, let's go over the numbers. All he does is he picks up the phone and contacts the Social Security Administrator Commissioner and say, you know what? I want you to remove COLA and use inflation as the benchmark 30 days out. And that will give millions of Americans $200 a month, approximately more per month, lifetime. Done. Phone call. No executive order. No act of Congress. It's just a phone call to say change a benchmark. All right, let's go over how this works and let's go over the calculations to start. First, the calculations are very simple to understand. When you look at your benefits, your benefits are determined based upon a benchmark. If you look at your benefits check between the year 2015 and 2016, they may have been the same. They may not have changed. How about 2018 to 2019? They may have been the same. Why? Because COLA is horrible. It doesn't move. Last December, COLA was announced at 5.9%. The only reason it was a positive number is because inflation moves hot faster. So the concept is very simple. Get rid of COLA and replace it with inflation. Inflation is always a positive number, so your benefits will always go up. What happened in December? COLA came in at 5.9%. Well, inflation came in at 7.5%. So let's do the math very simply right now. You replace COLA today with inflation, your benefits will go up 2% instantly overnight. That's about $200 more per month, done, lifetime, finished. Again, we're replacing COLA with inflation. You'll go up $200 approximately more per month compared to where you are right now, but 8% more compared to where you were in December. And that's lifetime. That's about $200, and it's more than Liz Warren promised. She promised six to 12 months. This is lifetime. Done. So how does this work? Let's explain the issue at hand. Inflation moves up every year. It's always one, two, three, some percentage point. It's always something. But it's really hot at the moment. And the breaking news right now is that it's staying hot. It's exactly as hot as I predicted. And it will stay hot for enough time for Joe Biden to swap this out. There's very rare occurrences where I pat myself on the back, but this is one that I'll continually do it. I got inflation very right when everyone else was not saying this number. In spring of last year, when I was talking about fifth stimulus, I said, I predict that inflation will be in December 2021, the last month, 8% and not temporary. I was the only person who said this. Everyone thought I was crazy. Federal Reserve said 1% to 2% temporary, one month. I said, I don't believe it. Wall Street, 2 to 3%, one month. I said, I don't believe it. Well, guess what happened? It came in at 7.5% December last month. And guess what? New reports came in late last night and can you condemn today from the number one shipper, like barges in the water of goods across the globe and says, you know what? There's too much supply chain issue. And that means that inflation supply chain issues will not go away first quarter 2022. Second quarter 2022 will not go away, will not go away into the second half of this year. Meaning this inflationary pressure of 7.5% is not going away this month. It will be here another month or so, or at least to the middle of the year, says that new report. That's why Joe Biden needs to do this right now. And that is your SS200. Now, let's turn back into fifth, fourth stimulus and also how to get big sums of money or checks from third stimulus right now. There's a lot of money in a fourth stimulus recon, the Bill Bat Better Act. It's important to know what each of those checks are because they're staying in there. They were passed in 2021. But the thousands of checks in there will get added too. These will not get removed. So you need to know them, what they are. 
as a purple hawk. Hawk, hawk, because they will be there when it becomes law. You need to pounce because the first come, first serve. They got $72,500 of watching the duck and state and local taxes on the federal tax return, the salt cap, raising from $10,000. They got cheaper prescription medication, growing it from 20 medications at day one to 30 medications in 2028. Medicare Part B, D, and uh, Cancer Authorized Diabetes. They got $40 billion of free job training checks in there for people who want to take a higher a paying job. They got the Medicaid gap fix in there, providing years of subsidized private insurance to low-income uninsured people. In 12 Republican holdout states, they vowed never to provide it across the board. They got $65 per month for nutrition in there. They got the Pell Grant, $550 checks. They got $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. A lot of provisions for third stimulus repeated back. Earn income tax credit, hazard pay, essential workers, one more year. CTC, child tax credit, $3,600, one more year. Household tax credit, one more year. And then they got the housing provisions. Two new, weatherize your home and home repairs. But the other ones are repeated from third stimulus. And the great news is that third stimulus is still paying out. So get out that membership newsletter. Or if you're not a member, go right on this video right now and become a member. I'm going to go over these checks right with you right now. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgages, is more. Several viewers have gotten ten dollars to $20,000 this week. If you've had a success story, send to me on private message on social media. I'll feature it live on air. And we'll start with the rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. Wow. Let me show you a graphic. This was a graphic from the month of October of how much money people got for this money for the rent. It has grown a lot since then. Can you imagine? This was then. Now it's upwards of $40,000. What's an issue? Third stimulus. Became law, spring 2021. And at the time, I said I can get you about 15000 Viewers on average got $45,000 as soon as it became a law. Then last summer, they got another round. Then last fall, winter, they got another round. Where does it start? It starts with the rent. Six places you reach out to to get this rent. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Three must you must do. You must reach out to all six places. You must get multiple applications on file and you must do multiple rounds. More about those rounds in a second. Utility assistance because of COVID. Reach out to all utility companies. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $15,000 a year. Then SNAP. Get it from Department of Agriculture. It's money for your food. You're going to get $25,000 a year if you're Mark. And that, over 10 years, my friends, is a quarter million dollars. Combos, get three or more items. Nisi and Art Sullivan got it. And that inspired all viewers to understand, always get three or more items. Here we go. Lorraine, she went from 105 to now 120. Mark initially was at two items at 32. I said, Mark, was your third? He got his third, went to 50,000 from 32. Now he's at over 100,000, which then brings us to the question of these rounds. We're heading into late February, and guess what? I want you to get another round right now. So you may have gone to the first round when it became law, January, February, March last year. Then maybe you got a round last summer. A lot of viewers got the Christmas round. They generally got three to four months of rent, and they got one utilities. They got it generally from November, December, January. That round is about to run out for a lot of viewers. It was the Christmas of Santa round. Get another round right now and extend it out the door. And there you go. In this video, we've covered a lot, and there's still a lot to cover, and it's coming up all throughout the day. We have so far covered in this video the Four Symbols Recon, the Build Back Better Act, passed in the House, now in the Senate, and it will pay you a lot of checks, upwards of fifty to $60,000 when it becomes law. But no time or place to wait for us. There's CR for Stimulus 1.0 heating up using the budget bill that needs to get done in February. You want to advocate to Senator Patrick Leahy and Chuck Schumer. You do not want them to move it to March. You want to have them put a check in there. And you want to lean on the history of 2020 of why they did it before. They can do it again, especially with midterm elections right around the corner. And the Build Back Better Act simply not getting done this week. Number two, we went over CR for Stimulus 2.0. And now pass the House over to the Senate. And the great news is the Republicans say, you know what? We like that the House Democrats do. We have a Senate Republican version, and we want to merge it. Done it. Do it quickly. That's two and three. 4.0, the Russian sanctions bill. As Russian proliferation of troops and military action at the Ukrainian, military presence at the Ukraine border is bigger than ever before, the worst seen since the Cold War. The opportunities are there for them. 
You don't have to use all four. Any of them will work. Just get it into one of them and get it out, and we have those four opportunities. Meantime, we have the opportunities for the President of the United States to really step up and deliver what he promised, not once during the campaign, but also during his transition papers, SS200, $200 additional per month. Plus, you can repurpose existing sums of money, and guess what? You can also get more money from third stimulus across the board. That third stimulus is still paying out. More about that today on this channel. Coming up next is noontime. Want some chocolate cake? Want sugar-free chocolate cake? This is the Chocolate Cake Channel. Monthly sugar-free chocolate cake? <laughs> <laughs> then at 1 o'clock, it's Afternoons L8. We got a new Afternoons L8 at 3 o'clock, and then we're back at evenings with 5, 6, 7, and 8 o'clock. Evenings, evenings Countdown, Evenings Strange Stimulus, and Evenings Extra. And with that, I want you to probably incredible family to subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. Bring us from number 3 to number 2 most watched financial news channel in America. Like the video and consider becoming a member. The toast is toasting. The butter is buttering. The niche is niching. And the stimulus is stimulating. <laughs> and with that, stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you all throughout the day. Stay on this channel. It will automatically take you to the noon show, two-time show, coming up next at 11 a.m. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.